For this practice set, we need to write a method named hopscotch. It's going to accept an integer parameter for a number of hops and print a hopscotch board of that many hops. And a hop is defined as a split into two numbers and then back again into one. So if we have hopscotch three here, we can see that we are going to print one and then we're gonna have this. We're gonna print a second line and then it's gonna have this second hopscotch and then we're gonna print this third thing, and then we're gonna print this fourth, or this, sorry, this this is the third line, or the third hopscotch, and then we're gonna print this last part to close it up. So really, we're just gonna be printing something here. We're gonna print a line, that's for one, and then we're gonna print something, which is the next number, print the next line with two numbers in it, and that's the second, print something, and then the third line, and then print something. So this is going to be uh, quite simple, we're just going to use a public static. It's going to be void because it's just printing. And then the name is hop scotch. So if we write this in, we are taking an integer as parameter. So we are going to have int n. I also um, believe I 100% spelled this wrong. So it should be scotch and also not uppercased. So once we have that figured out, and a no O there. We're going to be inside of here. We're going to end our header because that is it for the header. And now we're gonna come down here. Well, we are going to want to increment these numbers every single time we print them out, not just every single row. So let's just make a number out here. I'll call it increment. And we're gonna set it equal to one because we start at one. Now we are going to run through this a certain amount of times and we know our end result, the end, not result, but number. The end number is the number that we are um, passed in. So we are going to do four, and then I'll just do um, hop, and we're gonna set this equal to zero. This should be int hop. This is some arbitrary value. We're just setting it equal to zero, and we're gonna run this. As long as our hops are less than or equal to our n. The reason why it's less than or equal to is because the equal part comes from having to print this last part out, but we're not going to print another line underneath it. So with that in mind, we're going to increment hop every single time so that we can eventually finish. And that's going to be the header for our for loop. Now we know that we're going to want to always print this line. So inside of here, we're going to have a system dot out dot print line where we are going to have, uh, I think it's three spaces. So we have one, two, three. Oh, oops, I am on a Mac, so if you hit the space bar, it gives you two decimals if you hit it rapidly. So we'll have one, two, three. We are gonna have our number, so we're gonna have increments inside of here. Oh, also, we are gonna want to append this, since this is an integer. So we are going to um, end this quotes, and then we're gonna have a plus, and then increment. So that appends it to the string where we have these three spaces here. And then to this, we are going to want to append three more spaces because we have um, this right here and then we have it on this side behind the one. So we have plus and then just one, two, three, and then we can end our line. So that is just going to be the first line. Now. We're gonna have an if statement inside of here and it's gonna check if we need to print this line out. And it's only going to print this line out if our, um, our number or if our amount of hops does not equal to the integer number passed in. Because if it is, then we're at this last row and we don't need to print out something like this. So if that's the case, we're gonna be inside of this if statement. Now, we are gonna to need to increment our increment variable by one. So we can print out this two right here. So inside of here, we are going to have increment and then we are going to do plus plus to increment it. And then we are going to have a system dot out dot print line. And then inside of here, uh, we are just going to have our increment first. It's the first thing. So we're gonna do increment. And then to this, we are going to append three spaces, and then we're gonna append the next number. Now there's a problem though, we need to increment it first. So what we can do is just end this line. 
we can change this from a print line to just a print. And then below it, we're just going to do increment plus plus, so that increments are increment. And then we're going to do a system dot out dot print, so it prints it on the same line. Or I'm sorry, we're going to do a system dot out dot print line. And the reason why we're doing a print line is because when we are done with this, we are going to want to just print a new line. So system dot out dot print line. And that way, uh, when we go outside of this if statement back into this for loop, we can print this again on a new line. So we're going to do print line, and we're just going to have our increments inside of here. And then we can end this line. And we want to increment our increment once more so that when we pass through here, uh, this will be the next value. So we're just going to do increments plus plus, end this line, end this if statement, end the for loop, and then end our function. We can click submit here. And I spelled this wrong. Should be increment. So with that spelled correctly, we can submit this. We will run our tests. And we have an error right here. Um, it's because I don't have the proper spacing. So instead of just three spaces in here, uh, we can count these out. We should have one, two, three, four, five. So instead of three, we'll have four or five. Now with the proper spacing, it looks like that's all that it was. We have passed six out of six tests. And we've passed and practiced exercise 5.10, which is hopscotch.